Kalau teman-teman menyukai wisata sains, Jepang memiliki banyak tempat yang menarik bagi teman-teman. Hari ini kita akan berkunjung ke sebuah museum sains bernama Miraikan, di mana semua kelompok usia, baik anak-anak maupun orang dewasa, dapat menambah memperkaya wawasan sains mereka dengan menikmati aktivitas-aktivitas yang menyenangkan. Dan kali ini kita ditemani oleh seorang teman saya, Sayor. Hello Sayor. Selamat so pagi. Oh, you speak Indonesian very well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, so my name is uh, Sayor, mm-hmm. and I'm from Uzbekistan, and I'm on third year. I see. And what do you research in KU University? Uh, for now, I'm not uh, in any KU I see. But I'm planning to do machine learning KU Oh, machine learning. From next semester. I see. Artificial intelligence. That's cool. And anyway, let's begin our adventure. Menggunakan kereta api, mereka dapat ditempuh sekitar 30 menit dari stasiun Tokyo dan sekitar 45 menit dari kampus Mita. We almost get there. So the glass symbolizes the openness of the Miraikan of the science to the world, right? Ah, I see. And the design is very slick. I like it. And uh, Miraikan means the building of the future, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Miraikan. Mirai is future and Kan is building. And the the logo, I think it symbolizes like the satellite. Ah, and, I see. Uh, maybe also like the division of cells. Mm-hmm. And the like transportation systems in the earth maybe. Ah. And the slogan is also pretty good. Wakado and Kawadu. Ah, yeah, yeah, you're right. Kagakuga Wakado, Sekai ga Kawadu. Pretty poetic. Yeah. Yeah. Locker's room. Okay. Wow. What is this, Sayor? This is like a guidance on how to use the. Oh, wow. Nice. Information about the globe. Yeah. Hal menarik lain yang ada di lantai satu adalah Unicam. Kita dapat mencoba prototipe teknologi transportasi yang dikembangkan oleh Honda ini. Unicam dapat bergerak ke segala arah. Kita cukup memudahkan berat badan kita. Sekali diisi, baterai Unicam bisa bertahan untuk perjalanan sejauh 6 km. Selanjutnya, mari naik ke lantai 3. Di sini tertulis eksibisi dimerahkan, fokus pada pertanyaan daripada jawaban. Hmm, benar juga. Misalnya, di sini ada koleksi pertanyaan dari para penerima Nobel yang pernah berkunjung ke mereka. Anyway, there have been 28 Nobel laureates from Japan, right? So go this way. This so cool. Wow. Yeah. It would, it would be nice if some people from Uzbekistan and Indonesia received this prize, right? Yeah, of course. Look at that, we have a Russian Nobel laureate here. Oh yeah, right. Do you speak Russian, Sayo? Yeah. It Can says, you read it? Почему кошка всегда падает down? And what does it mean? It means, why does the cat always fall on his feet? Hmm. Saya tidak pernah kepikiran pertanyaan itu. Kenapa? Mungkin karena evolusi, apakah kucing mendapatkan kemampuan ini karena diwariskan atau karena dipelajari? Ah, I see. And this one is from Alexei Abikosov. Ah. He's the guy who contributed to superconductors and superfluids.
So kawaii, right? Yeah. yeah. She's cuter than my girlfriend <laughs> because my girlfriend doesn't exist. <laughs> Anything is cuter than me. <laughs> yeah. Hello there. Very precise. Bagaimana film zaman dulu yang hitam putih bisa dibuat berwarna dengan mesin learning? Hal itu memungkinkan. Ingat dengan beliau, saya pernah sedikit bercerita tentang beliau di video sendiri. Beliau adalah Jun Mulai Sensei, Bapak Internet Jepang, dan XHBC ini ditampilkan dengan arahan dari beliau dan juga Masa Aki Sato Sensei. XHBC ini adalah sebuah model dari bagaimana data dikirim dalam bentuk bilangan binet dari sebuah terminal ke terminal lain di internet. Kini, mari naik ke lantai 5. Can you believe that 
this globe has more than 10 million pixels. Oh, really? 10 million pixels? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's super, super high resolution. And they Must be. And they collaborate with uh, many companies like Google to um, have these precise images of our globe. Naruto, ne? It was made by Mitsubishi, I think. Mitsubishi? Yeah. Ah. So this is the control panel. Looks so sophisticated. Apakah teman-teman familiar dengan TUI? TUI adalah Tangible User Interface. Jadi kalau di komputer, komputer namanya GUI, Graphical User Interface, ada namanya icon. Di TUI juga ada yang namanya icon. Bedanya adalah icon ini physical. Jadi misalnya kita ganti icon ini dengan Icon ini misalnya pada monitor ini akan terlihat perubahan. Welcome to the International Space Station. Yeah, this is actually the replica of the ISS. So this might be our future transportation system. Yeah. If I want to send something to somebody, I can use this system and yeah, uh, the objects will move automatically following the design path. Interesting. What are you doing, Sayo? Hi. Oh, what did you buy, Sayo? Um, I bought some cheese hot dog. Ah, looks delicious. Ayo kita turun kembali. Get our buffs back. Oh, yeah, we get our 100 yen back. Ah, uh, it's possible I'm already. What's your question for you? What? The day, the disadvantage. Some of the exhibitions were really practical mm -hmm. and you could I could actually understand how things work by just trying them um, but of course the more exhibitions the better it would be so mm -hmm. I think um, in the future we'll have more exhibitions and uh, more Mirai Khan uh, museums around the world including in our countries yeah of course nice okay let's go home sure Let's go. Baik teman-teman, itu tadi petualangan singkat kami di Miraikan dan sampai jumpa di video berikutnya. Dadah. Dadah.